Well, hello, Bethesda Church family. Welcome to First Word. This is something that we're going to try to do on Wednesdays, each Wednesday, to uh, give you a little taste of what's coming up for the weekend. Also, we hope that will be of encouragement to you if you know you're traveling or you're going to be gone for the weekend, but you'd still like to know kind of like, hey, what happened at church this weekend? This will give you a little taste of it. So we're going to put this on our different uh, social media platforms, and you can look forward to it. It's just going to be short and sweet, but I hope that will encourage you and give you a taste. We are in the third week of our new preaching series called What Does Jesus See When He Looks at Me? Did you catch that title? What Does Jesus See When He Looks at Me? Really, it was the story that I'm going to read to you, the encounter that we're going to get spend some time with from Luke chapter 7, that really inspired that sermon series, at least the title for it, and then it just kind of got my heart and my mind and my spirit going. Luke chapter 7, the encounter that Jesus has with the sinful woman, is really the summary of the question that's being asked by Simon the Pharisee. Who is this person who forgives sins? Earlier in chapter 7 of the book of Luke, Jesus raises a person who's dead. A little boy from the town of Nain. Then later in Luke chapter 7, Jesus' first cousin, John the Baptist, actually sends his disciples to find out if Jesus was really the Messiah, the one that they were looking for. But in the encounter that we'll have in Luke chapter 7, we see a sinful woman who anoints and kisses and can't stop showing affection for who Jesus is. She's a sinful woman. Simon the Pharisee asked this, has this question going on in his head. If he really was a prophet, he would know who's touching him. Well, then Jesus catches now. Jesus gives a story, he gives a story and uses a financial story of a person who was a money lender. And there were two people that owed this money lender a lot of money. One, his funds and his debts were so high it was over 20 months of salary think about that how much would that be in your life did you come up with a number and then there was another person who had two months of salary you got a number for that well the debt collector forgave them both and then jesus turns to simon the pharisee and he says now which one do you think loved the money changer or the money lender more Simon the Pharisee says, the one who is forgiven more. And then Jesus uses these words, catch it now, you've judged correctly. Jesus later goes on to use this financial term of forgiveness or canceling the debt. Throughout scripture, we see the forgiveness of sins used as an analogy for a debt. Now that shouldn't surprise us, should it? No, because when we get to the Lord's Prayer, in some translations we say, and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. It's the analogy. Who is the one that's able to forgive debts? It's the one who has incredible wealth. It's the one who has left heaven and come and lived on our behalf. Well, I can't wait to share this message with you. And on First Word Wednesday, I'm going to invite my friend Aaron to kind of give us a taste, a little bit of a song that we're gonna sing on Sunday. And so tell us about this song. This song is new to me, actually. It came out, uh, you said 2017, I think, 2016? Yep. Um, it's called His Mercy Is More, and it was just so perfect. I'm so excited to sing. Yeah. It's uh, at home and on my own, but uh, we're gonna sing a little bit of it on, on Sunday as well. Um, and I think I wanna focus on the verse two. Mm. As, uh, the image of the woman is in my head that it was considered just dirty and an, out, an outcast. And right. uh, the words to verse two are, what patience would wait as we constantly roam. Um, and the words of uh, actually another hymn come to mind, I'm prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Uh, but it goes on to say, what father so tender is calling us home? He welcomes the weakest, the vilest, the poor. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. And then the chorus, of course, which we'll sing twice. Let's start with the chorus. You want to go through that with me? Sure, do that. Praise the Lord. His mercy is more. Yeah. 
entitled His Mercy is More. <coughs> Excuse me. The authors are Keith and Kristen Getty, G-E-T-T-Y. So if you want to Google that, uh, find it on YouTube, you'll get a little head start for Sunday. Well, that's First Word Wednesday. Uh, you can tell other people from our church family about it. We hope that it gives you a taste of what you can expect uh, for our services, and we hope that it will encourage you as well. God bless you, and we'll see you next Wednesday.